So I'm going to show you how you can create custom commands in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So what you're going to need is a command block and you're going to have to have command blocks enabled. So here's how they work. So we have a command block that starts off the command. The command will always be execute. So here's how to do it. You need to do execute as or at, depending on what command you need, at E and the t name of the command, the type of mod that you're going to use for the command, we'll talk about more than that in a little bit, run, and then the command you want in the last bit. For example, here it says time to buzz. Then, then the next command block, it'll kill the entity. So let's try this out. As you can see, it spawned in the mob, it said time to buzz in the chat, and then it killed the mob. So you can use your you can make your own by doing the exact same steps. You need to pick out any spawn egg from the creative inventory. Pick a zombie villager, a phantom, a vindicator. And you're going to need to go into an anvil, rename your chosen entities to whatever command. For example, here we could do TNT. And you've got our mob now. Now we, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our command and we're going to do the exact same things. For example, so we're going to change the name, of course, to TNT, which is the name of the spawn egg. Type equals ghast, because that's the spawn egg that we chose. That's the mob. And then the command. For example, this one we're going to do set block tilde 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 TNT. Now, for certain commands, you need to use at instead of as, and right after execute. That's because for this command, we're going to use the actual coordinates of the mob rather than the mob itself. And that command block needs to be repeating, unconditional, and always active. Next, we're going to have a chain command block that's that's conditional and always active, and we're going to need to kill the mob so it doesn't keep on running the command over and over again. Obviously, we're going to need to add the name, TNT, type equals ghast. Now let's see if it worked. As you can see, you saw the gas spawn in, the gas died, and it ran the command, which is to place a TNT. You can have multiple commands run it with the same command. For example, for this one, it'll run It'll say hippity hoppity, then it will give then it'll give everyone in a certain area jump boost, and then it'll finish it off by killing the entity. So let's try that one out. As you can see, it run those two commands. It said hippity hoppity in the chat, and as you can see, it gave us jump boost, and we can hippity hoppity around all day long. If you want to have a delay in your command, then what you could what you could do is after the command that you want, after all the commands that you don't want delayed, you're going to want to set up a comparator and then as many repeaters as you need. Repeaters in Redstone delay the block delay Redstone. You can change how long it takes to how long it takes by right clicking on it or tapping on it. And as you can see, the redstone torch gets moved. The long, the further it is, the more redstone time it takes up. Make sure not to, for make sure not to forget to end the command, because then it'll keep on running it over and over again. So let's try this command out. As you can see, it waited one second after the entity was spawned, and then it teleported us to this block. Now, if you go too far away, the commands might not even work. As you can see, this bunny is just standing here, and so is this one and this one. In order to fix this, you should go back to where your commands were, and then what you're going to do is you're going to be right next to them. You're going to go into your chat, and you're going to write the command ticking area, add circle, tilde, 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 four, and then a name of whatever you want the ticking area to be. For example, I'm going to write commands. Then you can pick true. As you can see, you'll see this chat message that says added ticking area centered at your coordinates. And you can go to any place in the map, no matter where you are, and the commands will still work. 
See, it just teleported me back to the hub. And that's all I have to say. And if you want to get a cool flat world just like mine, why not check the video on the screen right now? It's pretty cool. And why not subscribe? It's free. And it helps out a ton.